Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Zero Dark Nerdy. I am Jerry, a.k.a. Uh, Spacecracker, <laughs> and with me is... Jordan Brown, a.k.a. Doodoo Brown 3879, a.k.a. USDA Freshman. <laughs> and we're coming to you live from our secret uh, underground bunker. Uh, <laughs> it's undisclosed for a reason. <laughs> With us today, we have the wonderful Sarah Chu. Uh, welcome uh, back to the uh, program, Sarah. How have you <laughs> been doing? Hi, thank you guys for having me again. How's it going? Oh, it's been going great, going great. It seems like you've been really busy lately. Uh, you wanna go over uh, what you've been up to lately? Yeah, it has definitely been like such a busy, crazy, but really good summer. So, um, just starting way back in May, I went on a Japan trip for about two weeks. Awesome. Um, so that was amazing. Um, then in July, I went to San Diego Comic-Con. Um, in August, I went to Keystone Comic-Con. I went to Wizard World at some point. <laughs> some point in the summer. I don't remember. <laughs> what somewhere thrown in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Um, and then most recently, I think about two weeks ago, um, I went to Ke or Colossal Con East, which was incredibly fun. Um, and then, and where is that? Look, I've never even heard of that. Yeah. You've never heard. Oh, you're missing out then. Colossal, colossal. But only if you like parties. If you don't like to party, then <laughs> do not go to. Um, I'll keep it at arm's distance. <laughs> yeah, and you need to um, also like bathing suits. It's like a bikini con. So if you're not into that, do <laughs> what not go. Do <laughs> not for you. <laughs> Time out. Hold, time the fuck out. <laughs> hold on. Get the memo on that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, hold on. I'm gonna put this in all caps. You said colossal con. Colossal con. So there's one in Ohio, but I mean that's Ohio, so don't go there. But colossal con Ooh, East. <laughs> hey, I live there. I did my time. I I can speak about it. It's fine. Um, but colossal con East. <laughs> It's um it's in the Poconos Mountains in Pennsylvania. It's uh, I'd heard about it for like years. Have always wanted to go, but something came up. Didn't really prioritize it. Um, just kind of thought it was a small whatever con at the end of summer. But I'm so glad I went this year because it was so incredibly fun and like I don't know what a con experience should be if you want to do the party thing at a con. It's just perfect. So so is it? I mean, is it like? comic books and shit like that like con uh, or? Mm, not really so but uh it's just like a party con yeah party it's a party con. Con. it's a party con um there is a vendor floor um the resort's so large though i i mean i didn't go i couldn't tell you where it is um i don't know that anyone really went to that so it's terrible i shouldn't say that but um <laughs> the point of it it's not like you don't go to panels i don't know if they have panels um it's not I don't know, like no one talks about the vendor floor. Um, but what it is, it's like a, it's a cosplay con, but not one where people get too serious about it. It's like I said, like bikini cons um, or, bikini, like, you know, you do the bikini version of any character you want and you don't have to, you can do normal cosplay too. But what's really cool about it is like, it's in like this resort, it's the largest indoor water park. And there's like a giant arcade. <laughs> there's um uh, like woods and a waterfall outside. So if you want to do like your legit cosplay in the woods by a waterfall, you can do that. If you want to just sit in the lazy river and be drunk the whole weekend, you can do that. Um, you can hang out in the arcade and do photos there. So it's just because there's all those different environments. Um, and it's just really, really fun. You know, it doesn't, doesn't get old. <laughs> Well, I think everyone in our crew would love I, that. Yeah, I think we're, we're <laughs> fucking doing that. Don't take our... Brian's already taking the days off. Looking up the dates. And it's con should be paying me now for advertising. Fuck yeah, they <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I thought it was probably the most fun con I went to this summer, and I will definitely be going back every year. Did you do a dress up, bikini dress up? I did. Um, I'm trying to think. So I actually didn't end up like wearing a lot of the cosplays I brought. And usually I would like stress myself out. Like, oh, I got to like have my perfect cosplay. But the console was not like that. Um, I did do probably like my biggest one, I guess, was I did an Advent Children Tifa um, that I based off some fan art that I saw. It's on my Instagram right now. Um, so that I don't know. I, I really liked that. It was super fun. And then after I went to the bar with some friends and we ate and drank and I was like in my cosplay and it was just like, no one's looking at me weird. I'm like in a bathing suit 
in a restaurant and but like everyone is it's totally normal colossal con cruise okay oh yeah i saw that uh, I was tempted, actually. It was so much fun. I was like, should I do this? But I mean, I'm, I'm going to wait till goodbye money, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Adios. All right, well, that sounds like fun. So um, were you finished explaining what, what you've done this summer? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we got excited, sorry. <laughs> I, obviously, I only remember the last thing I did, Colossal Bunnies, like two weeks ago. But I'm like, oh, yeah, Japan, San Diego. Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I've man. always wanted to go to Japan. That's, that's my, my spot I want to fucking go to, period. You should do it. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. I can only say amazing things. Good. Excellent. That's all I hear. <laughs> well, uh, I know uh, coming up, you, uh, you're coming uh, to uh, New York Comic Con. Uh, what do you got uh, planned for uh, as far as cosplays going on up there? So I'm, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, one, by the time this comes out, it'll be after New York Comic Con, right? The audio will be, right. the audio will be this week. This week? Okay. Um, you, don't have to, you don't have to divulge You'll just have to follow to. my Instagram to find See? out. <laughs> Which is? Sarah Chu Cosplay. Hey. Yep, there you go. It's just Sarah Chu Cosplay on Instagram. Um, then we ask right after I finish with this podcast i am going to start working on my cosplay so oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. yeah 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 so like i said it's been a busy summer and i'm i'm a bit behind um i also right. have another new cosplay that's being shipped to me um that i don't know if i'll get in time so i wish i could tell you my lineup but I don't know. <laughs> don't stress it. Don't stress yeah. it, girl. You just bring some stuff and you have fun while you're up there. Exactly. Relax. You've been going hard for a while here. So, uh, you know, take some time for yourself and, and have fun. Thanks. and enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Wow. You know, I have honestly like so many great cosplays. I'm just going to like night before what I get done, what I want to wear, just pack it then and just worry more about having fun than having the perfect cosplay. Right. Uh, do you have plans on uh, seeing any panels or seeing any uh, celebrities or anything while you're up there? Yeah, um, I mean, the Hobbit panel looks pretty good. I've seen um, a Hobbit panel in the past that was pretty hilarious. So I definitely want to try to go to that one. Um, I know I keep coming back to Final Fantasy, but and I'm probably going to butcher his name, but I think it's like Yoshitaka, something Amano, the original um, artist for Final Fantasy, he's going to be there. So I'm, I definitely want to get something signed from him or some you know art that he has there. I think he just came out with an autobiography. So maybe pick that up. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna, you know, see what happens. <laughs> How about you? What are you excited for? Uh, well, I'm excited. I'm not excited because I'm not going. But if oh. I was going, yeah. yeah, it's been a it's been a, a trying year. And uh, oh, no. So, uh, but if I was there, I would be clamoring to see Tom Hiddleston mm. and Paul Rudd. Uh, it's going to be oh, very yes. expensive, but <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would stand in the line and pay it if I was going. That's awesome. Paul Rudd over Tom Hiddleston. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No offense, Tom. If you, <laughs> I just used your first name only, like I know you. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, this is Tom. I'm oh, sure you know Tom. Oh, Tommy. You know, I'm sure if he was here, he wouldn't want you to use his full name. He I don't know. I don't. Tom. Know if Stop I can, calling me Tom. Like, if I, if I, I've never met one famous person my entire lifetime, but I'm, I, I know I'm gonna have a problem if I ever do because I'm going to use their full name every time I want to say it. <laughs> Excuse me, Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston. Um, I would just, you know, I was just thinking. You'd be like, yeah. Tom's fine. Okay, Tom Hiddleston. Okay, I'm so sorry, sorry, Tom Hiddleston. Stop screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. We'll go ahead. Why do y'all like the, me? The, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> well, we well, guys are talking about the Final Fantasy. You want to jump on that and, and uh, freak out and the fucking fan make and fan up, huh? out about it? Oh yeah, I can absolutely fangirl about the new or I guess it's new the final fantasy 7 remake that's mm -hmm. planned or the first episode planned yes. for was it march 2020 i'm forgetting dates but soon very very soon if it doesn't get pushed out which i don't think it will um yeah i've been super excited about this for a long time it 
honestly didn't feel like it would really happen. I think we all, any Final Fantasy fan knows that like 15 took what, like 10 years to come out. So we're like, yeah, right. Like you're ever going to do the seven remake, but I think it's, I think it's real. Feels real. <laughs> yeah, um, be real but now, did they put a date on it? Yeah. Yeah, there's it's a date. Amazon. You can pre order it um, yeah. on Amazon. So my copy is, you know, definitely pre ordered from the first day. And I kind of, um, you won't be able to see this on the audio, but that's why anyone listening to the audio should check out the video. I've been a fan since day one. This is my original Final Fantasy VII copy that I got um, the day it came out. Wow. It was like it's 12 or something. Yes, it's, oh, no, it's faded. It's, it's hard to like, tell. You've never dropped yeah. it, not one time. Oh, no, the discs are scratched. Look how faded this like, book is. Oh, God, yeah, okay. There's a secondhand <laughs> sticker on the front. Like, you didn't buy it. <laughs> no, no, I got yeah. it, like, day one. I think at, like, midnight at Walmart, like, waited in line. Yes. Um, like, Start I was <laughs> furious. I'm furious about it. I can never part with this, so... I, the only, I, I, I see, I, I lost my seven and eight, but fun fact, I still have my Final Fantasy nine disc just like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's been sitting in my brother's room, in my parents' house, in my brother's room beside his bed, on his bedside table for some reason. I would always hide my cocaine in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, to be honest, I might need to go check that because. That's <laughs> actually an incredible. Incredible hiding place. Yes. No one would check inside I'm the place. Honest. <laughs> I would. Oh my god! I I need to check that. <laughs> you might, you might have <laughs> yeah, please let me know. Now I'm really curious. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that was the. Oh, I, mean, I never got caught. <laughs> my mom, sorry, dad. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even remember nine at all. I remember seven and I'm playing eight now with the remaster that just came out for uh, PlayStation. Yeah, how so, is that? Is I mean it's it's they have faces now. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that is essentially the difference that I've noticed. They they have faces that aren't like pixels. And right. I mean I think okay, I think that what I remember the graphics looking like yeah. back then like oh, oh my god these are great graphics yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> cutting edge. Uh, yeah i think that what uh, the remaster is is what i thought they looked like back then you know what i mean mm -hmm. because if you go back and look at them they're pretty shitty graphics but in your head it looked like that right right and the, i mean the remake is still or remaster is still pretty pretty not good Pretty not good. Okay. Well, I mean, compared compared to like Final Fantasy fifteen, which sucked in my opinion, and um, the I, eight was my favorite, personally. Interesting. Uh, yeah. All right. You're one of those. Oh, what is what is what does that mean? <laughs> I don't I just, know. It's always like a it's a certain type of person who thinks Final Fantasy eight's like the best one. Okay. To, yeah. to be clear, you know, I, I don't I don't know that I trust anyone that thinks Final Fantasy. <laughs> the best one like emo tom cruise whatever like why do you like it so much tell me i like it because of the 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 action the fighting i like the 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 goddamn the battles that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> uh, i like the leveling up system i like the um the junctioning your abilities for the for the gfs and whatnot and um um i don't really i don't i mean the characters are kind of shitty let's face it squall is a a black like i mean like not black man but like i'm like a, like he's he's just a uh -huh. like a no face he's got no emotions or just a, it's like the blank from dick tracy exactly well i don't get that reference though but <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no either. i liked it i like i like uh i like the weapon crafting i like the um i even like the it's okay if you ran out of things to like about it. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Am I getting roasted? It's a little hot in here. Am I getting roasted right now? <laughs> that was Am I getting roasted right now? I think that was a read. <laughs> All right, Miss okay. Lady, ma'am. You like the battle system, you know, that's great. But don't you think the battle system in 10 was like so much more improved and like the leveling up system? Like, okay, I feel no, like no, no. 
Yeah. I did like ten. tried an I age, but ten perfected the battle system. That's my favorite battle system of any Final Fantasy. Is my second favorite. The only th the only reason that I like eight better than ten is because of the card system, the card uh, side quest instead of the fucking blitz ball. Bullshit. Oh, I I hate all mini game Final Fantasy mini games. I'm terrible at all of them, and I just they don't exist in my head. They're not canon. <laughs> No, they're not. Uh, they're, they're, not, not <laughs> they're not real. You can only say that word to a couple people and them understand what you're talking about. Non-canonical. 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 <laughs> All right, well, 10's your second favorite. Uh, so, you know, I guess I won't hold, you know, you liking eight so much against you. Yes. I really only, I really only like uh, eight because, I'm not, okay, I'm not taking back everything I just said, but... <laughs> Isn't it fun using the gun blade every time you attack? <laughs> Pushing that little R1 button and like, oh, I did that critical hit, bitch, every time. And then I'm when sure you miss it, you feel I just feel like a dumpster, uh, like a dumpster <laughs> slut. <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm really bad at this game for missing the. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, All right, I'm gonna go. Mean, I'm not gonna, gonna say. Everything? Yeah, I mean it's <clears throat> fine. Like it's not like everything's bad about the game. It's just there are if you're ranking. There are well, tens so, a better battle system. So tens your favorite. Uh ooh, no, six is my favorite. I didn't play six. I got into this game late. What is oh, okay, so you like eight the most. You've never played six. I bet you love thirteen as well. Which one was thirteen? Is thir Lightning. I actually did like Wait, thir thirteen is online, right? No, no, no. That's eleven. Oh, with 14. lightning. Yeah, no, I did okay. not like thirteen. Okay. I did not like 13. Uh, I didn't like, I liked 12, even though I don't fucking remember it. Um, hate it's not it. rememberable. Like, it was fun. I played it, and then I'm like, I never want to play yeah, that again. Instantaneously forgot about it. Yeah. Wiped from my memory banks. The Zodiac Age or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, 15 was, I cannot begin to tell you how much I hated 15. All right. <laughs> tell us about your hate now. I just said I can't begin to, so. <laughs> the top three things you hate about You had to. It was maybe, <clears throat> what, 16 hours of gameplay? Maybe. Maybe 20 if you didn't, um, or if you actually tried to level up a little bit. Which long you didn't fuck. fucking Got need it. to. No. Long as fuck? 16 hours? That is long, right? I Bitch, no. a 100 hours into that game. What are you talking about? In a, in a, in a 15? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How? How? The main story quest is just trudging through, and you're, like literally, I'm just like, oh, I guess now this yeah, is one happening. of the chapters was like three hours alone. That, that chapter did suck, and I'm not saying it's <laughs> the best ever. I had a lot of issues with it too. But the prompto chapter, whatever it was, thirteen, yeah, that was like three hours in and of itself. At least the first version, and they did update it and make it shorter because people complained did you, too much. Did you uh, fight the Adamantoys at the end? I did, yeah, How I did. How long did that take you? Like another like five hours into How the game. How fun was that? It w was really upsetting. I did it on Twitch, and I don't think I've ever like rage quit a stream so fast. <laughs> uh, people were really cool. mean too. They're like, "Okay, I'm gonna go fight this thing now," and I'm like two hours in, and then they pop back in. They're like, "Okay, I just." like beat it and i'm like shut the fuck up yes. i don't care how you like what you're doing i hate this stupid turtle Fucking and then when i finished it. i was like this was dumb bye and just uh, like, turned on my stream. Dicks. but i did it i didn't Never again. I, I watched someone do it i sat there and watched someone do it i watched the whole fucking two hours of them doing it why did I do that? <laughs> why did i do that you feel somewhat accomplished <laughs> like, oh, i'm fine i watched that one I'm going I really know. depressed at the time. Like, yeah, I was just like sitting there just like, oh, I can see where this is going. I sat there and didn't move. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. Because afterwards you're like, well, I don't need to do that. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I can just literally skip it, to the end. It was it's like YouTube. I just did. It kind of like sucks you in. Like I didn't want to fight this thing for like five hours. Maybe it was four, but it was longer than it was supposed to take. Yes, And exactly. I just couldn't stop you know at a certain point it was just like stubbornness or like rocky like i'm not gonna like yeah up. like rocky yeah yeah i definitely rockied that turtle <laughs> but like rocky too i did win okay good good good, good yeah good. yeah good um yeah so apart from how what i thought was a short game 
miss 100 hours every year, which I love to hear that. I love to hear it when people dump hours into games. Like, I spent at least 100 hours on each character build in Dark Souls and all those games. But, um, yeah, 15, just the action, it felt like you were just throwing the sword and warping to it and then rinse and repeat. And, like, the, the summons were even awkward, right? Yeah. The magic system and summons, or I don't even know how to summon. I think they just okay. randomly showed up, okay. but like, that's cool. It's probably more realistic. Like if I was a summon, I would just show up whenever What's I wanted. Um, yeah, I'd be like, all right, I'm here. I'm sending you now. And you'd be like, stop, that's a I don't know, monster. What are you doing? <laughs> I'd be like the worst summon ever. Nope. Anyways, yeah, they like forgot about the magic system. Uh, no, the battle system was terrible. It was kind of fun for like 15 minutes. Like I like warping around, but yeah, that's all you did. You just bounced around or mash buttons. It's yeah, it wasn't great. Amazing music though. Okay. I'll give you that. I will yeah, give the soundtracks are always, I mean, usually really good. That's it. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to uh, like the Final Fantasy concert. Oh, did a year you? and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. It was so good. I was just like crying the whole time. I was like, oh, this is so good. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. It's called Distant Worlds. Um, if it yeah. comes near you, absolutely go because it's like a worldwide thing. So they might never come by you again. I think I bought someone a birthday present to the to go see that. No, it was Kingdom Hearts. I'm done. Um, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> well, the composer for Kingdom Hearts, she did Final Fantasy 15. So. And I'm back in the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 15 does have one of the best soundtracks. So. Absolutely. <laughs> so are you going to, um, can you tell if you're going to do another Final Fantasy uh, cosplay? All right. Oh, I guess I'll tell you guys my cosplay plans. You've beat it out of me. Um, so if it gets here on time, I have the uh, Atifa remake outfit coming. So if it gets here and it fits or I can alter it, I'll be doing Tifa again. So We have our fingers crossed over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of it'll emotion It'll be on my right Instagram now. eventually. Even if it's not New York Comic Con, it will like definitely be up there because Tifa is best girl and I just want to wear every version of Tifa I can. I want to see you in every version of Tifa. <laughs> Meaning that in the least creepy way possible. <laughs> well, Meaning we know you kill it every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Well, you got anything yeah. else, bud? I think that's it. All oh, right. Yeah, well, Wait, uh, are you guys excited for the Final Fantasy VII very, remake? Absolutely. I've, I'm going to pre-order as soon as I can. I'm a big fan of pre-ordering. You um, do it right now. Uh, yep. Do it right now. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Now, I do have one question. Um, I don't know if you've been like following the trailers or any blogs on it. I'm kind of like a little too obsessed right now. It's uh, a bit unhealthy. But have you heard the rumor that Mark Hamill is voicing Don Cornelia in the yes, game? Yes, I have heard that. And I mean, you saw it is on the trailer. Is that true? It looks, I mean, it looks and sounds very true. Yeah, that would be amazing. I uh, just, uh, that would make Mark my Hamill, life. out of nowhere. But surprise oh. Mark Hamill, which happened to me at San Diego. Like anytime there's a surprise to Mark Hamill, it's like the best thing ever. Yeah, he's really that cool. happens to me. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh, get out of here. No. Surprise you know, Mark, Mark Hamill Cam just in a regular yeah. thing? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, he surprised showed up to one of my the panels I was in. I was like at the panel before and I was waiting for the next one. So I was sitting through the Dark Crystal panel and then he shows up because he voices or yeah, he voices a character on the show oh. and like did the whole panel and he is just so entertaining and so kind and humble. He's, Big fangirl. He's definitely a, like a person to fangirl over. Very, <laughs> very easily. I mean, you've never seen him live action Joker, but I think I consider him like one of the best Joker's portrayals just from his voice series. from uh, animated series yeah. and movies and stuff that he's done. Like amazing, amazing actor. Absolutely. He is canon Joker in my eyes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I forget how how long is the dawn in the game actually? Is it just uh, um, that scene? It's really short. Um, yeah, it's just the, the what are they trying to do? Get Eris back? They're trying to get something. You know, the, I'm not going to spoil the scene. And right. The, 
across. The yeah, screen. yeah, which it seems like they're keeping it, which is exciting. Yes. They're uh, keeping the squat mini game. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad that they, I don't know, weren't afraid to put in maybe some of the more controversial scenes. Yeah, in the absolutely. I, I think they're taking themselves very seriously while taking it very lightheartedly at the same time. Because they, they want to <laughs> put a quality product out there that people want and appreciate, but at the same time, and, go on. And is, and is like, yeah, well, yes. And is like, ah, oh, this is a, like, this is everyone's like, Final Fantasy VII is the best goddamn game on the fucking planet ever made. If you're going to remake it, God damn it. It better be 100% exactly yeah, the true. same. Big they can literally just know. repackage it and be like, huh? <laughs> I would buy it. <laughs> I'd buy it. Yeah. I, would so, I would so buy it. You already said it was the best one. Here. Yep. Just buy it again. Take it. Take it again. Yeah. yeah. No, it seems like they're keeping really true to the original, but also adding some more to the story. Like there's a new character it appears that was in Soldier. So, um, and when. And when there's a remake, like I want to see some changes in it, but oh. I don't want it to be like, too different. So like, I'm excited to see what they do with the game because it like, does look like they're they're already because um, you don't get introduced to the to the summons until after uh, after you, Midgar. But it looks like yeah. Shivan and Freight are going to be in the game already. Yeah, so and that's dope. yeah, that would be amazing. Um, Sephiroth. They definitely there were some scenes that had not happened at that point in the game. Yeah. So it seems like they might bring him in earlier. And then there's a new character. I don't know if they've said his name or not, but he's in like the soldier uniform and he's on a motorbike. So he's totally new. Oh. Yeah, watch the trailers again. It's a blonde okay. guy. It's kind of creepy looking. Um, but yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. It's not just this exact same story. They've added new characters and elements. So okay. I'm excited to see what comes out. Me too. Like I said, as soon as we get off here, I'm going to go to my PlayStation and pre-order that some bitch. <clears throat> have a good old time just sitting there waiting and not moving until the game comes out. <laughs> exactly. People well, you should move to your brother's house and check your copy of Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> before the game. <sighs> oh, me. What if they, hey, I'm going to have... I'm going to have a good night if that happens. And there's actually a little present in there waiting for me. Hey, uh, you left future yeah. stuff. A little present there. Save it for the Final Fantasy VII release so you That's can like, stay up on it. Beat the game in one shot. <laughs> well, before we get off here, uh, just let uh, everybody know how they can follow you on social media, uh, all, the, all the things. All right, cool. So my um, main social media right now is Instagram at Sarah Chu Cosplay. I do have a Twitch account that um, I don't use too much right now. It's Sarah Chu, but I probably will be streaming Final Fantasy VII Remake when it comes out. So, yeah. Awesome. And thank you guys for having me again. It's always so much fun on your podcast. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yes. And we can't wait to see you at the next Colossal Con. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. <laughs> We're buying tickets right now. <laughs> Here we come. Uh, Good news. Already there. Already booked them. All, All right, right. Great. Thank, thank you, you guys so, so much. Thanks again for being on the show. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. You Take too. Care. Yeah. Victory. And anger management. Fuck anger management.